Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. We're back again tonight for another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday, and I'm super excited about this one because we're heading back to the year 2001 and tearing into a blaster box of Bowman. have been wanting to open a box of these for quite some time. And as most of you are already aware, these boxes have gone up quite significantly over the last couple of years. Uh, Hobby Box of these is about... High-end 600 bucks nowadays because of the Albert Pujols rookie card, but I was able to get a blaster for about 200 bucks, and these have 11 packs total, and we have a chance at the Pujols rookie card, which is the biggest one that we're after. Um, also a Pujols gold, maybe even a Albert Pujols autograph. So pretty excited to finally tear into this. Um, I ripped the cellophane off a couple days ago just to double check because I was very worried about these being bricked up. Cards from this era, as most of you are aware, 2001 was a pretty bad year for cards because of the UV coating. Also, you have Ichiro who made his way into certain sets in 01. Not in this one in particular, but he was in uh, um, the Bowman Draft set this year. So I felt the packs up. That, that sounded kind of dirty. <laughs> I examined the packs closely to see if they felt bricked up, and they do not. They feel pretty loose inside of these packs, so I am uh, pretty stoked about that. We have the baseball checklist, which Bowman usually included. At least they used to. I'm not sure if they still do or not. And 11 packs. Let us get down to it. But, uh, yeah, examining them side to side. Feel pretty... Uh, flexible inside of there so the pool holes raw is about 100 bucks between like 70 and 100 depending on condition um the gold pool host uh, pool holes i saw just sold recently the psa 10 was like 2300 dollars so pretty freaking sweet diddy dookie in the house is good luck <laughs> you turds aaron thank you very much for that and the well wishes let's get down to it chris a who has two spots in this break you're up first. Ten cards per pack. Also, uh, looking for Miguel Cabrera. Not not technically a rookie card, but uh, his first Bowman card can be found in here. It's actually not even him. It's Denny Batista picture. It's an uncorrected error. CNM Collectibles in the house says, let's do this. Been waiting for this one. CNM, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. Always nice of you to join us. I've been very, very eager for this as well. A little bit sticky, but nothing, I think, to be too worried about. Mike Hampton leading us off is the gold card. The gold cards are one per pack, and we got Mike Hampton. We do have a relic in here. We'll save this one for the end of the pack, but it's kind of tough to tell the golds. The only thing gold about it, in other years, they did an entirely gold border, but uh, the facsimile is gold there. Also, rookie cards of uh, Hank Blaylock can be found in here, as well as uh, Justin Morneau, Barry Zito, early on in his career. Jay's Big Mac PC channel was happening. But so far, very, very nice. No paper loss, which I was significantly worried about. Rocco Baldelli. Kurt Schilling. <laughs> Been very disgruntled on that card. Jason Marquis. And the final card in this pack, actually, there's one, a couple stuck to the very back, but the very first hit here, I've never seen one of these before, All-Star Features Games, never heard of that guy before, wasn't collecting in that era, or really following baseball too much, try and uh, say that three times fast, <laughs> But uh, game used relic there, Corey Spencer and Keith Ginter ending the very first pack out. That dude doesn't look real. <laughs> no pool holes in the first pack. I actually don't even own the pool holes myself yet. It's one that I kind of dragged my feet on over the years and kind of sucks because of how much it's gone up. I know when I was looking at them a while ago, they were like around 50 bucks. First pack down. I don't think that there's any more of these blasters on eBay. Um, but Joker 68, I think he's got two spots in this rip. And it looks like, look at that, second pack in. It looks like we have Miggy's first Bowman card. The uncorrected air with Denny Batista pictured. Checked out, out in the second, Alfonso Soriano. 
Leading us off. Sun Woo Kim. Yeah, the air Miggy is pretty sweet. It's an uncorrected air. Steve Cox. Matt Williams. Timmy T. Tom, what's happening, man? Try to be very, very careful with these because I don't want any paper loss. Paul Loduca, you can see there's a little bit on him in the bottom edge. Jason Kendall. Floyd Fan says, thoughts on 93 Donruss rated rookies since none aren't rookies. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, this is sweet. Tell you my thoughts about that in a second. Tim Redding, check that out. Miguel Cabrera, Cabrera error card gold. That is freaking awesome. Joker, that's a pretty nice hit right there. Of course, uncorrected error. Miggy's first Bowman card. It's not even him, but Denny Batista pictured, and it's a freaking gold card. Very, very nice. Nice way to start this off. Not too shabby at all. And it looks to be like really no paper loss at all on that one. Very nice. Scudder still haunting the Uniontown Mall, <laughs> Nick says. Scudder haunts everywhere. He is everywhere. RTS in the house is nice, Miggy. That was a nice surprise. This pack feels like it might be kind of bricked up. CNM. Let's hope for the best here. I pulled the first two packs out when I ripped the cellophane off to examine these, and they felt good. So after that, I didn't examine any further. But let's see what we're getting into here. JT Snow. I almost want to break the hair dryer out just to be careful. But we're not really seeing many paper loss though. I don't know, also don't want to give the cards away. <laughs> Opening eleven packs might take an hour. So JT Snow leading us off. There's a Big Mac for Jay's Big Mac PC collecting channel. Josh Beckett. Enrico Washington. Paul Canerco. Kruger says, thanks for your advice with my channel, brother. I'm almost at 100 sub market. 97 now. Thanks so much, man. Oh, happy to help, man. Check out Kruger Breaks and Rips, his growing channel. That's awesome. John Barnes, Luis Castillo, Jose Reyes. That's actually his rookie card. He was quite a speed demon. I like how it says uh, rookie on these ones. I don't know what year Bowman started doing that. Probably right around 1998. I think 99, actually. But uh, Jose Reyes, definitely a prominent rookie in this set. Roberto Alomar. And the gold card is Adam Johnson. <laughs> Anyways, my thoughts on 93 Donruss rated rookies. Yeah, I feel like Donruss did that a lot where they would use that terminology when the cards actually weren't rookies. But yeah, 93 Donruss, I don't think there's just any any rookie cards in that set really. Maybe maybe one or two that aren't even labeled rated rookie. On to Joker 68's next pack. Congrats on that Miggy Gold though. That's pretty awesome. Definitely my favorite card we've seen so far. See if we can find you a pool holes. The biggest travesty is that Al Padrique isn't a rated rookie in 88. <laughs> I had a feeling that you were harboring those thoughts, and I do have a one touch on standby for once. I actually prepared for this one. Yancy Brazabron, rookie card. Rocco Baldelli again. There's Bubba Crosby. Yeah, tread very carefully if you're going to buy a box of these. I didn't want to take the risk and spend 600 bucks for a hobby box and have them be all stuck together with horrible paper loss. So I figured 200 bucks was a much more lesser risk. This could be like an ASMR video with me prying these apart. <laughs> Steve Finley, Alex Gordon, Greg Toe Nash. What a nickname, Toe. I used to crackle real hard as a kid when I heard Bubba Crosby. Definitely some names in here that I have not heard in many, many years. And some that I've never heard before. Eduardo Figueroa. Gold card. 
Figgy is what I would call him. Just like Figgy from Baker. And in that pack, on to Corey's. Pack number five. This, this is going way too fast. Maybe you had a <laughs> maybe you had a foot fetish, Joe, Joe says. I don't believe that that was an Alex Gordon rookie card. Who remembers the video game to Toe Jam and Earl? I used to love that game. Toe Nash has a weird backstory. I'm going to check that out. All right. Jason Worth leading us off in Corey's pack. Alex Escobar. Hey, Brent's car breaks. What's happening, man? Mike Hanson saw his gold car in the very first pack. Brad Radke. Even with some speckles of paper loss, that pool holes will still fetch a decent amount. Towing the slab. Mark, <laughs> Mark says Ramon Ortiz. Corey Spencer. Phil Wilson, Sneed, Essex Sneed rookie card, and Abraham Nunez is the gold card in Corey's pack. Well, we are already more than halfway done. <laughs> a 20 minute break. Maybe even less than that. If the cards weren't stuck together a little bit, we'd be done already. Chase Utley, I believe Chase Utley is in the draft set for this year. I know he was early 2000s Bowman. His packs aren't ripping open very clean. It's upsetting me because I like to keep two of them. Essex Sneed was appalling. There's Figgy again leading us off. Brian Jordan. Cheswick, good luck to you, man. I know Cheswick has a pool holse already, but he's hoping for the gold of Brian Hitchcock. Yeah, two thousand three hundred bucks is what that pool holes gold PSA ten sold for recently. Obviously, very expensive because of how hard it is to find one in that condition without paper loss. Ben Christensen. I don't know if Cheswick's in here or not. Hobby searcher. What is happening, man? Preston Wilson. Justin Woodrow rookie card. Carl Everett, Bobby Abreu, keep thinking that's going to be pull holes when I see the blue on the side. No such luck for Cheswick, but he does have another spot in here coming up later on. Mikey G is up next. Derek, what is happening, man? No sign of pull holes yet. Joel says you should do O one upper deck. I don't know what a box of O one upper deck sells for. I did buy the pool holes recently, and they are all over the place. There's one I saw sold for 75 bucks. Some sell for 30, or a lot of them are selling for like 30, 35 bucks. So maybe a box of those would be feasible. I'll look into that sometime soon. Mikey G, good luck to you, man. You get a nice clean rip on this pack. Ben Davis for Paul L. and Joe's Card Corral, keeping this pack wrapper. Neither do I, Joe. Well, I have the upper deck and I have the traded, thanks to Jay Hadley, but do not have the Bowman. Brian B., what is up, man? A little bit of paper loss. Kruger says, how much do these blasters go for? This was These were 200 bucks. But the Hobby Box is close to 600 now, if you go by eBay prices. Frankie Terrence says, I need a pool holes rookie of some kind. Yeah, check it out. I think they're about 30 bucks. Jake says, I drove from Pittsburgh to St. Louis for work today, eating Domino's <laughs> and watching this in my hotel room. Nice. That is awesome. <laughs> Dead Grateful says, always cracks me up when you just pull random stuff from off camera. Yeah, there's plenty of stuff sitting next to me off camera, as I've demonstrated many times before. Time and time again, Jake says, I have five or six pulls rookies. That's freaking awesome. All these guys were the bench warmers from MLB... <laughs> 2006. There's Larkin. Some white speckles to him. Maybe I should break the hair dryer out, but I don't know if I want to uh, torture anybody with that. Justin Abruzzo, rookie card. And Ben Davis, gold card with some paper loss. What do you guys say? You think I should pull the hair dryer out? I'm very weary. I don't want to. Uh, I want to pull that card and have the repaper loss. 
or any kind of damage whatsoever. These ones are getting a little bit hairy. Ben Davis deserves paper loss. <laughs> Corey's next pack. I haven't seen Buddy Groom yet. Hypus here says, get the hair dryer. All right. Ghetto, you got it, ghetto. You asked for it. I bought this hair dryer at the Salvation Army or something for like two bucks a while back. Definitely is going to come in handy tonight. Ah, let's see here. Loosen it up some. Get this thing going. <laughs> Get it going. Let's take him out of there. Get the hair dryer going. We want no paper loss. Keeping it real ghetto. Worked pretty well, though. Enrique Cruz are peeling off pretty good. Grant Roberts, <laughs> Salon Edition. It definitely loosens them up. I mean, for some cards, it does not work at all. Like, uh, 93 per deck is very tough to unbrick those, but uh, you'll definitely have significantly less paper loss with Josh Hamilton. So now we're getting to the point where I kind of want to turn it on again. Hit all the edges. Jim Tummy. <laughs> the cards will have split ends. Mark Burnett. Ken's Cardboards. We're looking for the Pool Hulse rookie card. Have not seen it yet, but as you can see, like there's uh, some of those other packs had some speckling pretty bad now. They're not so much. Casey Fossum. <laughs> John's Card Salon. And Ryan Anderson is the gold card. Corey strikes out with no pool holes. And then there were three packs left. This John's Card Salon rip. <laughs> Paul L. Casey's, Casey Fossum called it. All right, on to the next victim here. CNM, you're back up again. Yeah, those first two packs were so nice, and then everything after that, just, I don't know. I don't trust it. I'm worried... We'll end up seeing a pool holes and it'll just be crap. Griffey on top. That's pretty sweet, though. Let's hit him with the... Turn a full blast. Griffey on top. His ones are wedged up a little more, though, but uh, nice having him on top of the stack. Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. <laughs> Dirk Remington says, this must be ghetto rips. I was worried this was going to happen. This is why I have not messed with these up until now, but like I said, those first two packs were so nice. <laughs> this is anti-ASMR channel. Please check out Dirk Remington if you can hear me over this loud hair dryer. Corey will post a link to him. <laughs> Weird that your hair dryer looks just like your timer. Everything is matching here. Just my Dennis Cook living room set. 
courtesy of Dirk. Manny Ramirez. Bernie Williams. Yeah, so some of these. Not horrible. Nothing like 2001 Tops. 2001 Tops is... It's pretty bad. <laughs> Everything was bought in 1986 at a flea market. Octavio Martinez. Marcus Giles. And the final card of this pack is the gold card. Randomly flipped upside down. Ryan Christensen. Might as well get the pliers out for 2001 Tops. No pool holes for CNM. I am sorry, man. We tried. Definitely tried. On to Cheswick's next spot, if he's even in here. Have not seen him. Two packs left in this remarkably ghetto break. Is that a Giles rookie? Marcus Giles? I think it might be. You know what, I was going to put these in the freezer, but after I took the first two packs out, I didn't think it was necessary. Freezer definitely will work with some things, not always. I've tried many different experiments with bricked up cards, uh, different kinds. Some work, some do not work. It just depends on really the brand. 93 per deck is some of the worst I've seen. Early 90s Pacific can be bad. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a good bit of them. Abraham Nunez. Let's hit this a little bit. Burning my fingers. I'm giving my dryer to Goodwill. Don't need it since cutting my mullet. <laughs> I know this is probably very, very tedious to watch, but... Abraham Nunez. Danny Morbin. So Miguel Cabrera Gold. Definitely probably the best card so far. JD Drew. Oh, I thought that was pool holes for a second. Coming up. Craig Biggio. AKA Craig Biggio. Will the freezer cause moisture from condensation to ruin cards? I've noticed that before, too. Depending on what it is, I feel like if they're chrome, it can do that. It just all depends on what brand they are. Kevin Brown. <laughs> hey, Joel, what did you do last night? People never believe me. Yeah, I watched a guy blow-drying baseball cards. Jason Hart. <laughs> Left behind times. We're trying, man. We got one pack left after this. Chris Richard. And the gold card. Patrick looking for some strange. With some speckles on his face. And in that pack, taking it to the final pack of tonight's tedious ghetto rip. Chris A. See if we have some better luck with Chris A's second pack. That feels no different than the last nine packs. <laughs> CNM. All right. Cross my fingers and my toes. Let's hit it one more time. Get in those crevices. Mitch Jones. Take us to a pool hall. Jason Standridge. Joker bids five bucks on the hairdryer. I'll be next. Freezing does work, Tony. It, it, it depends on what they are. Like I said before, I didn't put these in the freezer because the first two packs felt great. When we opened them, they, they were fine. There was no paper loss. And then 
the next nine packs, I don't know if it was from, I don't know, pressure in the box or whatever time, but Kurt Ainsworth suffered a little bit. There's the big hurt. First time seeing him. <laughs> Should be wearing a members only jacket while using that salon edition. Kurt Ainsworth makes me cringe. Jason Belcher. Justin Glennis is a hate when the card stock or cards stick together. Like, hopefully, you won't have too much paper loss. Yeah, this. I knew what I was getting myself into with this particular brand and year. That's why I didn't buy an entire box. Brandon Mims. It's a pretty slight risk. Pedro Martinez, nice one there. And the final two cards, if this ain't a pool hole, so it looks like we're not going to... Oh, look at that! There it is, the second to last card in this box. Very, very nice. Pool hole finally shows up. Oh, man. Freaking sweet. It's not the gold. There it is. Burning my fingers. Pull holes rookie card. And Charles Frazier. Gold. Ending that one out. Throws in a one touch. I know that there are some speckles on there. Chris A, congratulations. Second to last card is the pull holes rookie. Very, very nice. Love that card. And it has minimal damage. Thank you for the assistance. Salon Edition Blow Dryer. We may see you again someday. Check it out. Like I said before, on eBay, comps are uh, 70 to 100 bucks, all depending on paper loss and condition, obviously. I don't think this one would get 100 bucks in particular. It's definitely off left to right, and there is some speckles to it, but... Uh, not as bad as some of the other cards tonight. So we definitely got lucky. Not a gold, but I would definitely take it by all means. Chris A, congrats. You got the freaking pool holes in the last freaking pack. The last two cards. Absolutely amazing. Eric S says, I will say that PSA grades at a 6 since they are inconsistently graded. Now, I have heard that, but thank you guys all for joining me. That was definitely awesome. It's not every time you open a box that you find the exact card you're looking for, especially when it's one like this one in a big set. So, freaking awesome, Chris A. Congrats to you, man. Hopefully you guys will join me tomorrow night for uh, the first auction in a couple weeks. i got a lot of stuff lined up. Probably start that around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to be ballsy and try to get a box of these, if you can find them, I think... You're probably going to pay at least 200 bucks, but you could pull a pull holes or pull holes gold even. So holly boxes are about 600 nowadays. Definitely a big risk, so proceed with caution if you decide to do so. Wow, that is a freaking awesome card. I love it. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Hopefully I will see you back here tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Have a great rest of your night, guys.